Yo, what is up, everyone? Oh, what's going on well for you? Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now, today, we're going to take off here on official PvP. Starting out here in the main base, just need to toss a few things in here. We're going to get started right away here. I think we're going to be making up some Broth of Enlightenment. Now, we need these. They're like this soup thing that give you extra experience when you are, are doing stuff, I guess. I mean, they also tame up Arthur and that's going to be what we're going to be using them for. So, basically, that's like the kibble for Arthur all the time, I get this in the comments, people asking me to tame this thing up. Uh, they're like little, I don't know, you put them on turret mode, they can melt people's armor just like they do when you are in caves or something like that. Really annoyingly, doesn't matter what quality of armor you have, they'll just melt through it. And I've lost quite a few pieces of Riot and uh, never repaired them because it's really, really horrible to repair good Riot. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're annoying. But anyway, we're going to go out. We're going to tame some of those up. Actually, had a lot of other things planned for today. We were going to get into some PvP, but we were, we were scouting around looking everywhere for actually quite, quite a while. And found a couple like interesting places, but nothing like worthy of anything important. So really didn't do much of that. So anyway, we're going to be getting into that, I believe, tomorrow. There, there should be something um, big that we're doing. I, I sure hope. I've been looking forward to something good for a while since that last one last week. But anyway, um, what we need to do is we need to make up these soups. I actually, thinking about it now, I didn't even pull up the recipe or know how to make them. So I'm going to grab that. One, one second, let me grab all the ingredients to this thing. All right, here we go. I've got a couple of them made up. I just got to get more woolly rhino horns. They're pretty heavy. Can't carry too many at a time. Now, this soup just sounds delicious. We've got mayo berries, we've got every vegetable you can put in, and then black pearls from the inside of a squid, and whole woolly rhino horns. You don't even have to grind them up. They just melt straight down. Doesn't that sound delicious? It sounds great to me. Actually, it sounds exactly like something that a Arthropleura would want. So, let me toss this stuff back where it belongs. I'm not trying to make a mess here, so let me put all this back. And then we're going to head out. We're going to find some of these. Now, if Dota Dex is correct, which it is most of the time, it says it's going to take like three to four soup per Arthropleura. So I'm hoping that we can tame at least two of them. They are a passive tame. So I do expect to lose a couple soup in the process because, you know, arc. Anyway, I'm going to put this back. We'll be back momentarily when we've reached the volcano and found a decent level one. The first one has got to be... At least 130. Well, I'm gonna say 130 plus. We'll find something good. Are you hungry? You hungry? Nope. All right, I got one into this thing, level 145. It actually looks pretty cool too. So it's one of those rare circumstances you get a, a high level one that also looks cool. I do hope this thing's a little bit useful as at least. I just got really annoyed searching and scouting for bases. You know, you just get with the timer, it's annoying switching between servers. Spent so many hours trying to find some good stuff to do. But, you know, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way. So you just go out and tame some, some random stuff that, hey, maybe it might be useful. Maybe it won't. But we'll tame it. I'll tell you that. I think we're going to tame up some other stuff, too. I figured we might as well just continue along that route if we ever get this thing. I feel like it's going to, like, aggro on me, but... I feed you. You need to be like in the center of its body. You can't even feed it from the tail. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but neither does feeding it from the center. I need to get a. Is he aggroed? I think we're all right. Okay, we can do this. I think it's mad at the bird. Oh, ser dude, seriously? Bird, get out of here. Pelagornis, what? What? Oh, it had to ruin this for me. All right, coming in with the last one, I, I think. I hope. Please don't have reset. Yes, nice. Okay, it only took three, but it was annoying. So there we go. This one's, this one's actually... What are the stats in these things? 3.5k HP. That's actually more than I would have thought. You can get a lot of good saddles for these. So these could have some decent HP. They could. I think they could sit around and do some... 
some damage. I don't know how effective their poison shot is in lag, though. That's that's the one thing. So, at least it looks cool. We can park this somewhere. And, I mean, it looks like a cool turret or something. We'll just say we'll just say you're useful. Come on, let's go. Uh, we're going to find one more, I think, at least. Hopefully, we should be able to find another one. And we'll be right back. All right, I tamed another Arthur Pleura up, but I was actually over here, and I know some of our tribe mates were looking for hyena dons, like some good ones. So I grabbed this guy. He's a level 100. Might might be good. And I figured since we're we're on that passive tame grind, we might as well uh, take this little guy over. See if we can tame him up over on the beach. I'm waiting for a drop actually. I I want to bring over my Arthur Pleuras, but through a drop. So I gotta wait anyway. Oh my god, I can't believe I was about to tame a level 100. I just found this 145. Heck yeah, dude. I'm all about this. We'll tame this up. We'll get a 145 Arthro. We'll get a 145 Hyena Don. Evidently, they're like really good fridges. You like buff up their weight a ton and you're able to just, I don't know, store a bunch of meat in them. I'm going to put them in the water so he doesn't go anywhere. All right, I was able to make a ghillie on the fly out here, fortunately, because of the mantis. So that's that's pretty nice. So we have to wear ghillie, and let's see how this goes. So it's just like any other passive tame, but you pet it. Like you don't give it any food. You just pet it till it loves you, I guess. That's it. Cool. And now I just follow it around till it wants that again. How do I know? Okay. Oh, so it gives us a timer. That's actually really nice, but also, why don't they just do that on every passive tame? That just makes me feel like they should have just not been lazy and just done it on everyone. What the heck? I didn't know how long the Arthur Pleur was going to take, but I guess I guess we got to be happy that it... Come here. I feel like this is not going to be fun. These things are glitchy. Like, minus server lag, minus... Just normal lag. These things are glitchy. They like glitch all around on the ground. Kind of like teleport all over rocks and stuff. Have you ever seen a pack of them fight? It's not pretty. Okay, this is happens to be the worst thing I've ever tamed in my entire life. Those Arthur Pleuris took nice three broth enlightenments. This thing resets every five seconds. I'm I swear to god, I've been I've been doing it like I don't know. I must have gotten this thing to 20%, maybe 10, maybe 15 times. I don't even know. I've lost count, but I, I'm i losing my mind, to be honest, about uh, untaming this thing. Like, I can't, like, okay, for one, if you've ever tamed it before, which I, I actually asked if other people hadn't, like, nobody here has tamed them. They've, they've all tried, and um, maybe it's just the ping or something. But they all gave up trying to tame these, so here I am. I think they actually asked for people on another server to get them some babies or something. So I'm not. I, I'm dedicated at this point. I've already sunk like 40 minutes into this and gotten pretty much nowhere. So it's like in the movies when they lose a guy and they're like, you know, we can't stop now because it would all be in vain. You know, I can't put back those 40 minutes. I'll put another f four hours into it. Oh yeah, I've got my crossbow with, with no grapples on it so that <laughs> I can actually make sure that I don't punch the thing when I walk up to it. Sometimes sometimes you get a little nervous and you and you just, you know, punch it and ruin your tame. So this is a good way to not do that at all because I'm I'm really worried. He resets on on his own, so <laughs> I don't want to help with that. Now, it resets if you're not walking or if you're not there to pet him right away. It starts going down instantly. And if you scare him, goodbye. Goodbye, taming effectiveness. Okay. All right. It's pretty exciting. We've done it. Sorry. I'm, I might be uh, going a little trigger happy. I've been doing this for a while. He's reset a lot, like so many times. I, I don't even wanna. I don't wanna even get there. All right, come on, please. Don't be scared. Now, also, something I've noticed. Say you're at like twenty percent, and you scare him. 
he loses me he goes down to maybe like 13 which is like three pets so that's like pretty much the end of the world but if you scare him when he's at like 60 percent it goes down by like a percentage i swear it goes down like 20 and uh it's great this is fun uh, this is real fun sarcasm all right, so the worst thing happened. Like, seriously, I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself right now. <laughs> Actually, it's probably a good thing. I got it up to 99%, literally the last amount, and uh, my internet went out. I'm not even kidding. Like, the internet straight up went out when I was going to tame it, and it was kind of a good thing because I realized that my recorder wasn't, like, recording, so it would have been in vain anyway. So here we are. We're back. We're back up to 99%. Seriously, it's been like, it's been way longer than I want to admit. But like, the more time you're out here taming it, the more you're like, I have to do this. Like, I don't know. I can't give up on this kind of stuff. I, I have to do it at this point. He's so close. Oh my god. It's been done. Um, yes. This is... Oh. I Actually... I wish I would look at looked at like the day that I like the, the day in game that I started taming this and the day that it is now. It's probably a long time. Like seriously, I think it's been three hours, three and a half hours. Okay, come on, let's go. Tamed it up finally. Walk it over this area. Volcano erupts and just burns in the lava. That would <laughs> that'd be perfect. Come on, come on, man. I don't trust you to be anywhere except over here. So, Arthur players are still here. I was looking for a drop, but I got way, way, way too into this. And then, yeah, I just left them on neutral. They've been killing a ton of stuff, getting levels, you know, all that fun stuff. But this looks so cool, by the way. I've been looking at it for a long time, so I'm kind of used to it, but I mean, if it was my initial reaction, I'd be like, yeah, this is a pretty cool looking thing right here. But anyway, why don't we get out of here? I'm going to get this thing back safe and sound so that I never have to do this again. All right, we're out here on the two so Just figured I usually take this out like maybe every day or every other day. Just check for drops every once in a while. What the heck happened? I got a little lost there. My apologies. This one's actually well hidden. Oh, this could be good. It's a good durability for sure. Mastercraft's usually a little too costly for Riot, but hey, what are you going to do? Alright, I've been clearing this area with the Tuso lately. I used to take a Baryonyx here to get rid of all of the Sea Scorpions. There's a ton of them usually. Like, I think there were 30 this time. But I've been taking the two so now, and that's way easier. Just stick it right through the boat. Oh, nice. That's actually not bad at all. That's kind of annoying to craft. Uh, yeah, so this is actually one of the treasure chests that is still active. I've seen people ask in my other video, like, why, like, I thought those were deactivated on Ragnarok. Uh, this one in the sunken ship is still active. It's the ones that were, like, in the tundra, I do believe, that were taken out. So, yeah. That ain't bad. Get away from you, stupid bugs. I'm busy. Alright, so, I figured since we are on the subject of taming annoying creatures we got one that melts armor we got another that is probably the worst tame in the entire world literally i think it's the worst tame in this game i don't ever want to do it again uh we'll breed all hyenodons from here on out but i figured we'd tame up this annoying little creature i've always wanted one just like a personal one people always have them like on their shoulder to like dismount people that pick them it's actually happened to me before i was quite confused it didn't like help in the situation that I mean, I picked someone, and it dismounted me off my bird, but he was, you know, already dead, so it didn't really help. But, if he was still alive, definitely would have made a difference. So, what is going on? This thing is glitchy as all... Yeah, I figured, instead of trying to bolo this thing, and, you know, see, see, it just disappeared. Oh, there it is. I figured instead of boloing it, this is the way to go. So, if you just whip it, and while it's still stunned, you take out the... Yeah, see, 
That is just horrendous. Now if you whip it, what the heck, my crossbow didn't reload? All right, I meant to have it reloaded already. One sec, let's catch up to this thing. Now they run away. I think you can bowl of them. Also, I could eat a rare flower and it would and it would like circle around my head like a helicopter and it would be impossible for me to, to tame it all, but I found that this works. And why isn't this hitting? Okay, they're stunned, boom. Desynced. Nice. Quality. Okay, I think I finally got this thing. I did hit it one time. One more should do it. Okay, one more did not do it. Maybe one more or more? There we go. Sweet. Look at those beastly stats. What am I supposed to do with this? I almost forgot what I was supposed to feed it. Alright, mushrooms, flowers, I mean... And I think I need narco berries. I didn't even think to bring any. Actually, for some reason I was thinking this one was a passive tame as well. And I ran up to it earlier. And it wasn't. That, yeah. That's pretty much it. But yeah, that's why I didn't bring any narcos with me. So, these, these bushes are horrible. What the heck? Like one bush, it gives you nothing. What is this? The tundra ones must be, just be garbage. You think this thing will wake up? Maybe these two will be fine. All right, I got some more berries. These bushes are horrible though, so I think this should be enough for it. I hope. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. My, oh shoot, I actually need food. Oh crap, are these things gonna attack me? And ruin my, no, they don't attack. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's done. That's it? Oh, I guess the two narco berries were enough. All right, so we've got our... Let me eat this quick. Oh, I didn't eat it. Oh, it doesn't matter. It should have... They should have chased me. I picked it up. That's weird. They must be one that, like, don't actually run after you. Even, like, Gallimimus run after you, don't they? Anyway. Perfect timing. Our griffin was just about to get wrecked by a wolf uh, i want to make up a meat pack for that hyena don see what it looks like and whatnot i don't know if i've yeah this is literally the first time i've ever tamed one of those so a little bit excited we do have a dog that's kind of cool we'll be right back okay i got this uh meat pack saddle thing on him too bad you can't get two of them and, and ride one on each foot but you know whatever um i was just trying to see what the meat like how it was affected by the saddle thing and basically it seems like it doubles it doubles the time inside of a dino so it's not as good as a refrigerator it's a little bit better than a preserving bin uh, for meat but it does reduce the weight of meat to 0.8 a stack of it instead of two so there there is that um it does reduce it you can take it out on a meat run and actually reduce the weight so that's where we're gonna stop for today guys if you like this video definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks a ton for the support on the series you guys are seriously awesome have a great rest of your day